Hey, you guys, it's your girl here, Randy Manny Johnson. Welcome to Glam Life Society. So, um, not too long ago, I shot a video about why your friends and family don't support you in your business. And after I posted the video, I got a few comments and requests for me to shoot a video on why people don't support black businesses. And so I kind of toyed around with whether I was, whether I was going to shoot the video or not, because I know a lot of people live their life on the uh, offense and people are always ready to be offended and, um, you know, things of that nature. And I can be kind of brash on certain issues <laughs> because I'm really just not someone that beats around the bush about anything. So I decided that I'd come on and tell you guys the the truth on why people don't support black businesses. And, and everybody's not going to agree with what I have to say and that's fine. I really don't care. But I wanted to give you guys some truth that's uh, based off of facts and not necessarily off of uh, opinion or based off of emotion or based off of um, just the, the tension <laughs> that has existed uh, in the, the, the black community in general. Y'all have to excuse me. I'm starving and I'm eating my uh, my afternoon snack or evening snack, which is some... I'm going to give Lighthouse a shout, shout out because they have this great uh, caramel, low-fat caramel dip. So I'm eating some apples and low-fat caramel dip. But back to the task at hand. I want to tell you guys the truth about why people don't support black businesses. First of all, let me say this. Business is business. Bad business is... Business is just business and bad business is just bad business. It doesn't matter whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're orange, purple, green, Hispanic, Indian, you know, it really doesn't matter as far as business is concerned because business is just business. And I think that a lot of times we want to take everything so personally. And I'm not saying that there may not be a situation where people just aren't supporting black businesses because they are black businesses. You know, I, I'm, I can say that, you know, that is can definitely be the truth in, in some instances, you know, because I see a lot of videos where people are saying that they're not supporting black businesses because, you know, they're just doing horrible business. And bad business is just bad business. It doesn't matter who it's coming from, you know. And so I've been to uh, Asian establishments that have bad service. I've been to white establishments, black establishments. I've been to pretty much every type of business that has had bad, you know, bad business practices. So it's really not just a black thing. We've been sort We've been programmed to think that, you know, to, well, to associate black or African-American with being, you know, negative. It's just, it's, it's a negative connotation. So I want to give you guys some facts and, you know, tell you guys the true reason why people just are not <clears throat> supporting black businesses. First of all, in order to create a sustainable and, uh, not only a sustainable, but a, a well-recognized brand, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of money, <laughs> and it takes a lot of know-how. And primarily, when people are starting businesses, and this is not just the African-American community, but when people are starting businesses, they are starting them because they already are financially challenged and they're seeing this for as a reason or as a way, a means of getting out of that rut that they're in. And so a lot of times they don't have the money for marketing they don't have the money for advertising and they don't have the know-how because to be totally honest with you it doesn't you can make a huge effect with a, a small amount of money if you go out and do the research and take the time to you know make those moves but for the most part for all the big brands and you know all of the so-called white companies that are getting all of the black dollar it's because they have the budget to go out and place these ads, you know, in magazines, to put commercials on television, to strategically place their brand, or their product, and their service somewhere that is going to catch you, capture you, and program you basically into getting that product or service. And so, for the most part, I, I see not only just working with black businesses, because I work with all kinds of businesses, startups, and entrepreneurs, that most don't take the time or don't even acknowledge that marketing and advertising is going to be a very 
very important part of their business. If I, how do I support you if I don't even know that you exist? How do I support you if I don't even know that you exist? And I'm not talking about the mom and pop company, you know, the mom and pop businesses that are, you know, your your corner market, grocery store, or, or fish fry, you know, little spot or whatever the situation may be. I'm talking about just black businesses and just businesses across the spectrum. How do I know that you exist if there's no way of you telling me, if you're not marketing properly, if you're not advertising properly, if you're not putting the word out that you are open for business, you can't be mad that I don't know that you exist and so I'm not supporting you. Because I tell you, I, I am the biggest, one of the biggest supporters of black businesses. I'm one of the biggest supporters of entrepreneurs in general because I know that you need that extra kick. I know that you need that extra push. I know that you need to get some profit to get ahead. But a lot of people are not using their profits properly. They're not setting aside a budget, a large enough budget. You know, I'd say, say you have $100 in your business. I would say take 70 of those dollars and put that into marketing and advertising. Advertising is, <laughs> is very strategic and anybody with a business has to be strategic. You have to know who your customer is. You have to know where they are, what they do on their off time. You have to know everything you possibly can know about your client or your customer who you want to come and purchase your item. Most people you say, well, who is your client? Who, you know, who, well, who is your, your target market? Who is your customer? They'll tell you everybody. No, everybody is not your customer. Everybody is not going to be lined up to buy your product or service. Everybody is not waiting for you to put something out so that they can go get it because everybody is just not your customer. You have a certain type of customer. You have a certain customer that makes a certain amount of money. You have a certain customer that, you know, does a certain thing on the weekend. You have a certain customer that just has a certain outline for who they are and what they do. And until you know who that customer is, you can't target them, which is why you don't get the customers and the, the, the support that you need in your business in order for it to be a sustainable brand, in order for it to be a sustainable company, in order for it to be something that somebody wants to support so to just kind of cap it off because this video has actually gotten a lot longer than I wanted it to be people are not supporting black businesses people are not supporting white businesses people are not supporting Asian Hispanic businesses not because they're bad businesses people are not supporting them because they don't know that you exist people are not supporting them because you're not doing what you have to do to make sure that your company is in the face of your customers be they should constantly be seeing you they should constantly be hearing what you do they should constantly have your 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 brand your logo your colors your uh taglines they should be constantly knowing who who you are so that they can associate you with something and when i think of oh wow i need to go get so and so bam i'm gonna go get it from them because that's what comes to my head and it comes to my head because you've been beating it down my throat you know like you'll see you'll be sitting there and you'll watch a commercial you'll be watching your show and you'll see there's these same commercials coming on over and over and over again they paid a lot of money to be there because they need to program you to come and buy their products they need to program you to associate them with something that you need and if you can't do that you can't capture an audience. You cannot get the customers that you need to sustain your business. So it doesn't matter whether you're a black business, a white business, a Asian, Hispanic business, whatever the situation may be, you're not being supported because people don't know you exist. So if you want the support, do the work. I know people are going to be mad and <laughs> I'm going to get some backlash from this video and I'm fine with that because I love a healthy debate and I'll even take part in an unhealthy debate in a healthy way. So yeah it's not really about black business it's about good business and knowing business and being knowledgeable in your industry and you know those sorts of things you got to get yourself out there for me to know that you exist and then you get the support that's why people don't support black business all right you guys have a great day i'll stay tuned and wait for the comments <laughs> all right bye-bye